how would you like to die, pirate? Hanging? Firing squad? Or a new invention, the guillotine? Guillotine? <laughs> Sounds French. I love the French. Did you know that they invented mayonnaise? How bad could it be? It's French, eh? Hey? Oh, that bad. Ah, oh, choose me mine. <laughs> Here's an idea. Here's an idea. Oh, why don't we try a good old-fashioned stoning, eh? I'd kill to be stoned right now. Gets the crowd involved, doesn't it? I should like to speak to Victor in disembowelment. I should like to speak to me. Pardon me, pa I I'm not one to complain normally, but, but this basket's full of heads. All right, so oh. first, uh, first question. I know you chased this movie and you were fans of the uh, previous films. So once you sort of got the job and looked at the script, anything in particular that got you, besides making the whole movie, any, any, any <laughs> sequence that, yeah, that got you like jazzed and excited? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, the script is laugh out loud funny. Mm. Uh, so I, I think that was the first thing that really gave us a kick. That was that, you know, you could Jack just comes alive on those pages, and and it scared us at the same time because it is really hard to do comedy and mm. and for us to do the script justice. Mm. That was uh, the challenge. The same page. I yeah, I think so. It's it's where we put the most pressure on ourselves, I think, and also the. The emotion yeah. and the, the heart of it, okay. and uh, really try to distill that. That was also very important for us. So, uh, if movies that shoot in, uh, at sea or that have ships are famously difficult to make, and you guys did Contiki, and now you make a pirates movie. How much was it actually? How much did you actually go into the water, sh shoot on location? Did you not feel faced by yes. that uh, aspect of it because of your previous movie? So, tell me a little bit about that. Jerry Brookhammer has said, tell, told us to say that the whole thing was shot on water. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and you're following your we're producers. Following him. So we're following uh, it's all shot on water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but we shot a lot of wa on water, and we've done it previously, of course. And uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, any movie is a, is challenging, and it's always going to be new things and, and difficult. And but I think adding the water element, you know, makes it even more, more uh, tricky. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, again, on this, we had all the resources in the world and, and the best crew and, and the best cast and it was just amazing to be a part of. Could you tell me a little bit about how do you collaborate or direct Johnny Depp as Jack Sparrow because he's obviously done, this is the fifth time he's doing it and obviously I would imagine when you read that script and you were laughing out loud it's because you sort of see his performance and there's, yeah. I mean he's married to that character. So yeah. is there directing Johnny Depp as that girl or do you just sort of step out of the way if you guys could tell me about that? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean he, he knows his his character inside out and, mm. and what he would do and not do and and he, he comes up with things on the fly which is just amazing he, his his way to improvise and surprise everybody but but we're we're, we're just trying to help basically mm. and <laughs> come with suggestions uh, and and, this, and 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 getting the 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 humor I think that yeah. was, so that was the the, the the most fun we had on set was working on the scenes with him. Yeah. And like, he's hilarious he, mm. and weird and, you know, it's, and, it, and it's magical also for, cause you know, we're fans of Jack Sparrow as mm -hmm. well. When he comes walking up on the Black Pearl, it's. But there's an interesting, I mean, the movie is really funny, but there's also interesting things in terms of development of character. Like Sparrow hits a little bit of a rock bottom there and Barbosa yeah. is really, really like, it's a full circle and he's developed it. Was that sort of fun to get those characters and give them more meat to the bones that they already have on screen? Yeah, definitely. We, we love the characters just like the, the fans do. And uh, we, we wanted to explore them more. And with Barbosa, uh, we really wanted to know what it would be like to, to be the fat cat, to have achieved everything. Mm. Uh, and, uh, but, but he's not happy at the same time, which is really interesting. And then, I don't want to go get into yeah, spoilers, no spoilers, but, no spoilers. Uh, but uh, we we really wanted to give him a, a great story arc, uh, and then Jack Sparrow, we couldn't give a great uh, character arc because he doesn't really learn anything. No. You know, he's he has to uh, stay the same. He's, 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 he's <laughs> always so wily coyote. And that's has why we love him too, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> so then, then how how to crack that one? So then we we created this backstory mm -hmm. to learn a bit, little bit about how. Jack becomes Jack the Sparrow, and uh, and we we mix that also with the the or the backstory of the bad guy Salazar. Mm. So uh, 
So this time it's personal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God that's not on the poster. It was fantastic. <laughs> yeah.